Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Tank. Today we're going to learn about 10 phrases that a fake friend will say to you. Now, let's begin. Number one, I told you so. Fake friends are not supportive or empathetic. If something goes wrong in your life, fake friends won't lift your spirits. Instead, they'll criticize and judge your mistakes. They'll put you down while boosting their own egos. Fake friends seek power over the people in their life. In other words, they want to feel superior to you. This is common among selfish and egotistical personalities. They choose their friends not because they like them, but because they feel superior to them. So every time you make a mistake, your friend experiences a swell of pride and satisfaction. They want to feel like your savior. They want you to treasure their advice and to worship the ground they walk on. So what happens when you do something wrong? A fake friend makes you feel worse. They step on you when you're down and they say, hey, I told you so, or you should have listened to me. But real friends do just the opposite. They aren't critical or judgmental. They don't kick you when you're down or exaggerate your mistakes. Instead, real friends lend a helping hand. They're supportive and empathetic because they care about your well-being. Real friendship should feel like an even playing field. No one is superior or inferior to the other, and no one wants to be. Number 2. Remember this. Fake friends hold grudges for months or even years. They punish you for every mistake you've made. They remember every favor that you've ever asked for, and they use those memories to push their own agenda. At every turn, fake friends leverage your failures against you. They make you feel like a bad or a pathetic person. Fake friends are critical and insulting, but the worst part is they pretend to be your allies. They act like they're trying to help you, but fake friends don't want you to recover from your mistakes. They don't want you to improve or grow. Instead, fake friends cultivate guilt, shame, and weakness. They want your self-esteem to stay at rock bottom, and they strip you of any confidence that you might have gained because your insecurities gives this person control over your life. So pay attention to anyone who digs up past mistakes, someone who reminds you of all the times you faltered. Real friends are willing to forgive and forget. They don't hold grudges, they don't leverage your failures against you, and they certainly don't make you feel guilty for the things you've done. So if you know someone who does, they may not be as honest as you think. Number 3. Trust me. Do you know someone who breaks their promises? Fake friends are notoriously unreliable. They make promises with no intention of keeping them, yet they insist that they can be trusted. They say things like, have I ever steered you wrong? Or you know you can trust me because they want to take advantage of your blind faith. But the truth is, fake friends rarely follow through on their commitments. They take your trust for granted, and they're always willing to sacrifice your needs for their own. On the other hand, a real friend keeps their promises because your trust matters to them. Fake friends are only interested in themselves, but a real friend considers your needs and feelings. They keep their promises because they value your trust and your friendship. Number 4. You can't do it. Fake friends resent other people's success. They don't want their friends to achieve their goals or follow their dreams. Why? Well, because your failures make your fake friend feel better about themselves. In other words, if you're unsuccessful, your fake friend feels superior, confident, and secure. But as soon as you start to achieve, they feel threatened by your ambition. They become envious of your success and they go out of their way to bring you down. Oftentimes, that means sabotaging your success. Before you approach a difficult challenge, a fake friend damages your motivation and attacks your self-esteem. They make you feel insecure. They want you to doubt your abilities, because if you believe in yourself, you may outgrow them. You may have the confidence to stand on your own two feet, and you may realize how bad of a friend they really are. That's the last thing your fake friend wants. They want to keep you under their thumb for as long as possible, so they go out of their way to undermine your success. Number 5. I need something. Fake friends always need something. In their mind, you're a bottomless pool of resources which they can use anytime they want. Your time is their time. Your money is their money. So they have no problem abusing your generosity to satisfy their own needs and desires. 
That's why fake friends are always asking for more. They ask for dozens of favors, they borrow your possessions without asking, and anytime you say no, they use guilt as a weapon to get what they want. But real friends don't need anything from you. They don't expect gifts or favors, and they're conscious of your time and money. A real friend respects your personal space and the resources that you worked hard to earn. They know your friendship doesn't revolve around them, and they don't use guilt to punish your independence. The truth is, good friends never take advantage of your generosity. If you know someone who does, they may not have your best interests in mind. Number 6. What about me? Do you know someone who can't stop talking about themselves? This person commandeers every conversation. They talk about themselves every chance they get. Even if there's something important you want to discuss, a fake friend looks for any opportunity to steal the spotlight. It can feel suffocating and repetitive talking to a fake friend. They don't pay attention to your problems. They don't ask questions about your life. But the moment they open their mouths, they expect you to give your undivided attention. Fake friends think their lives are the most interesting things in the world, and they rarely show interest in anything else. So think back to the last few conversations you had with your friend. Did your friend show a genuine interest in your life, or did they spend the entire conversation talking about them? If they can't stop stealing the spotlight, then you may not be as close as you think. Number 7. But you said, has your friend ever thrown your words back at you? Fake friends twist your words to manipulate your thoughts and actions. They take your comments and opinions out of context, and they spin your ideas to favor their personal agenda. Ultimately, fake friends want you to doubt yourself. They want you to argue with your own thoughts, and that way you don't know what to think or what to believe. When you start to doubt your own judgment, then you become more vulnerable to suggestions and manipulation. You stop trusting yourself, and you start trusting your fake friend. But the more you doubt yourself, the more dangerous your fake friend becomes. Number 8. Anyone can do that. Fake friends belittle your success. When you achieve something you're proud of, they act like your achievements don't even matter. They might say something like, oh, that's easy, or anyone could do that, because your fake friends want to play down your achievements. But why do fake friends attack your accomplishments? Well, they feel a sense of competition toward you. You may see them as a friend, but they see you as a rival or an enemy. They feel good about themselves when they're achieving more than you. They want to be the successful one in your relationship. The moment you become successful, they become bitter, envious, and defensive. That's why fake friends undercut your success as often as they can. They do it to soothe their own egos. If your achievements seem common or easy, then your fake friend doesn't feel threatened by your success. They can protect their egos and hold on to the power in your relationship. But real friends would never think of belittling your success. They aren't interested in holding power over you. They don't play down your achievements because they genuinely want you to succeed. So when you achieve an important goal, they build you up instead of tearing you down. They celebrate your successes and they're proud of your hard work. Don't waste your time with negative, egotistical people. Surround yourself with friends who are supportive, encouraging, and secure. Real friends should cultivate mutual success, not competition or jealousy. Number 9. You owe me! Do real friends keep score? Fake friends hold favors and debts over your head. They make you feel like you owe them something, even if you don't. If they do something nice for you, it's not because they care about you. It's because they want to pull your strings. In other words, they're only helpful when it yields a selfish reward. Fake friends will lean on the same favors and debts repeatedly. They'll make you feel guilty for taking anything from them, and they'll insist that you pay back their kindness. Sometimes, they use their friendship as a bargaining chip. They claim they're doing you a favor by spending time with you. But real friends don't bargain with their friendship, and they don't expect anything in return. Number 10. My life sucks. Do you know someone who complains constantly? Fake friends want people to feel sorry for them. They want others to express their sympathies and pity their difficult lives. You've probably heard their sob stories a million times. They exaggerate all their problems and they play the victim whenever they can. 
No matter what they did wrong, it's never their fault and they're never to blame. Oh, but the worst part is they're not interested in fixing their problems. They don't care about improving their lives. They enjoy being miserable because miserable people get more attention. So if you know someone who feels sorry for themselves, don't fall for their act. They're not your friend. They're just looking for attention. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.